Hello my dear friends. Hope you are doing good. I was getting this error in my virtual box machine. To fix this issue I had to increase the virtual hard disk space. So today in this video, we will see how to increase virtual box disk size. Step 1. Check prerequisites. Your virtual disk format should be VDI or VHD. Your virtual disk variant should be dynamically allocated. Guest OS should not use snapshots. But don't worry, if you do not meet any of these prerequisites, you can still extend your virtual drive after following the workarounds that I've provided later in this video. Step 2. Increase the size of the drive. Go to File. Select Virtual Media Manager. Choose Hard Disk tab. Select the name of the hard disk that you would like to extend. Go to Attributes tab. Down below over here, you can use this slider, or you can manually enter the revised disk size. Please remember, we can only increase the virtual disk size, we cannot decrease it back. So please double check the revised size. And click on apply. Step 3. Extend the partition to include the increased size. You can extend the partition with any one of these two options. Option A Guest OS Disk Management Utility. Option BG Parted Free Partition Manager. Let's start with Option A, Guest OS Disk Management Utility. Go ahead and start your virtual machine. With your mouse right click on Start, and select Disk Management. You should see the increased size is unallocated. Now right click on Primary Partition. Choose Extend Volume. Preferably, you can ensure maximum available space has been selected for extension. Click Next. Now tap on Finish. As you can see the size of the partition has been increased. Let's validate the same in File Explorer. Yes, the revised size reflects even here. Let's now start with Option BG Parted Free Partition Manager. Download G parted live CD ISO file in host PC. Now open Virtual Box Manager. Go to Settings. Select Storage. If you already have an optical drive, select the same. Click on this little disk icon. Select Choose a disk file. Now select the ISO file that we have just downloaded. If you do not have any virtual optical drive, we should add. Click on this little disk icon to add an optical drive. Click on Add again. Select the ISO file that we have just downloaded. Tap on Choose. Go to System. In boot order, select Optical. And move this up. We are all set to start the virtual machine from G Parted Live CD. Start the virtual machine. Hit enter to start with default settings. Hit enter to use default key map. Hit enter to use default language, which is US English. Hit enter again to use default mode. We are finally at G parted graphical user interface. Right click on the primary partition. Select resize or move. You can drag this slider or manually increase the new size over here. Once done, click on Resize or Move. Tap on this little tick mark to apply all changes. Click on Apply on this confirmation pop-up. We're all done. Close this window. Select Exit. Choose Shutdown. Tap on OK. Just hit Enter in this prompt. Now again go to System. Change the boot order to start from hard disk. Start your virtual machine as usual. We have successfully increased the size of the virtual hard drive. Now let's look at some workarounds that you can follow only if you do not meet the prerequisites. 
If your virtual disk format is not VDI or VHD. Or, if your virtual disk is not dynamically allocated. Go to the folder where VirtualBox has been installed. Hold Shift key and right click on a blank space. And select Open Command Window here. Type this command and hit Enter. I have provided the command in the video description below, you can copy and modify accordingly. Once this process completes, select your existing virtual disk. Tap on this little disk icon. Select Choose a Disk File. Now choose the new cloned virtual disk. From now on you can follow the process explained in the beginning of the video to extend the new cloned virtual disk. Once everything started working for your satisfaction, you can probably delete the old virtual disk file. If your guest OS uses snapshots, tap on this icon. Select snapshots. Now delete or merge snapshots one by one. Once all the snapshots have been deleted or merged, you can follow the process explained in the beginning of the video to extend the virtual hard disk. If this helped you, please like this video. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel for more such videos from our team. Thanks for watching.